Hey, what's going on, guys? The uh, trust me, I got this here, and um, well, this is my brand new let's play. Um, it's my sixth let's play now, and as you can obviously see, it is Aliens vs Predator um, for the PS3, of course, and um, I, it's it's a game that I've um, been really interested in. Um, let's playing because I don't think it's really been um it's not a game that's really been covered a lot and I I feel that it's kind of kind of underrated. Um received a lot of mixed reviews when it came out and I don't think a lot of people have actually played this game so I thought it would be good to, you know um cover it. So um just a little uh you know, background info. There's three different campaigns. There's m the Marine campaign, the Predator campaign, and the Alien campaign. Now, the Predator and Alien campaigns are pretty crap, but the Marine campaign, um, it's it's pretty pretty good. Um, I'd say it's probably, um, probably it's definitely better than Aliens Colonial Marines. It probably looks better than Aliens Colonial Marines. Um. Which I don't think that's exactly too hard. Um, so yeah, I've enough um, chatting. I sh might as well just get stuck into um, the game. No, of course, normal difficulty and straight into a, is this a cutscene. I can't remember. Yes, Sir, it is. So I'm going to shut begin. up. How old do you think it is? Ten thousand? A hundred thousand? <clears throat> Mr. Wayland? Yes. Begin the breaching procedure. Well, that's a a crazy start to the game. Leaves you with a a lot of questions. Um, leaves me with a lot of questions because I don't even um, really remember the story of this. Um, I haven't played this probably for like uh, maybe two years. Coming so, yeah. in low and smooth. Still nothing from the surface. Understood, Marlow. We're what the hell? Unknown vessel detected. Shit, it just appeared out of nowhere. Molly, you reading this? Shit. And we're knocked out just like that. <laughs> Not a great start to our whole Rookie. campaign. Rookie, you still with us? Come on, Private. Let's get you on your feet. 
Okay, listen up. Okay, do we actually start the to get controlling here or off infestation here? Nope. That's right. A bug hunt. So make sure you nail your targets at a distance. Molecular acid can be a real son of a bitch. Take a look inside. Got something. Movement right on top of us. This is not gonna end well. Finally, are uh, able to take control of you read me. This um, is our character. We lost you, kid. Um, we can't move yet though, cause we're just laying, laying around. Basic <laughs> tutorial crap they're gonna give us at the moment. We're gonna have to use one of our stims, so can't remember what button that is. They can teach us our it's triangle which was the first button that I pressed um, so that's good that I actually remember that uh, can I move around now nope they're not letting me move there we go so let's pick up that oh you don't have to um, don't have to press any button you just walk over it and flashlight so this game I have to say this game looks a lot better than I remember it um, but maybe it's just um, my TV because what happened I have my old TV which is um, that I used for this PlayStation and like um, well stuff fell on my desk and then it like, cracked the screen so um, I'm using my TV that I used to use for um, like in my bedroom and it's a lot bigger than what I was using before and um, a lot better quality, so maybe it's doing the game more justice, I guess. I don't know. But, um, we've got to make our way to the objective. I should be throwing out some flares. Am I supposed to even go up here? Where am I supposed to be going? Maybe I should look at that little mini map that they've provided with me that they're trying to, you know, do a tutorial with. Um, was it actually over here that I was supposed to go? Really? I went over here and nothing happened. Ah, here's where we're supposed to go. So if, anything moves, shoot it. if anything moves, shoot it. That's um. Okay, R2 to fire. Um, there's no aim down sight in this this uh, game. <clears throat> and yeah, I'll just blow that up for you know shits and giggles. Um, actually, I'm supposed to go that way. I thought it was just doing something, you know, you know, for the lols. Um, what was it? I was gonna say something. I can't remember now. Ah, uh, yeah, you can't aim down the sight in this game, which was something that threw me off. Um, initially, when I first got the game, because I was used to playing. Um, I played a lot of Call of Duty 4 before that, and I was only really used to um, aiming down the sights in FPS games and motion tracker was going off but now it's uh now it's dead silent so I assume I go this way let's throw that out gotta watch out for them xenomorphs so maybe can can you okay no that's rapid fire um L2 I was thinking L2 maybe you could aim down the sights and I was just a noob and didn't realize it but apparently you yeah can't that, that rapid fire is going to come in handy probably um you know when I'm dealing with a whole bunch of xenomorphs, and this guy uh, doesn't look too good. But uh, you, are you okay, buddy? Yeah, he's uh, he's not getting up. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm supposed to hold square and interact with. What's this? Is this like a generator? Um, no, apparently it's a. I guess a an open switch. For the garage door that I was standing at before, like a 
idiot trying to figure out where I was supposed to go. So back up these stairs. I also I like in the game that they give you unlimited flares. They could have gone kind of you know the survival horror route, um, you know, and force you to pick them up. Um, but I think it just it's just much better and much simple. Oh, there's okay. Is it going? It's going away from me. Um. Ooh. Yeah, it's it's much um, simpler for them to just give you unlimited amount of flares because, as you can see, the most of the game um, you're shrouded in darkness. If you gave you limited amounts of one, uh, limited amounts of flares, you know, you probably end up playing most of the game just, you know, running through darkness. Is really you wouldn't, I don't know, all of this. Um, design work going into building this world would kind of be pointless because you're not going to see a whole lot of it. Anything down here? Nope. So, continue our way to our objective. There might be maybe ammo or something over here. Even though this gun doesn't need ammo because it's unlimited. Um, which could kind of, again, like, um, going against the survival horror elements. You're always going to have, uh, you're always going to have ammo. Okay, we're gonna reset the system or something, is that what she said? I wasn't really paying attention, I probably should be paying attention. Um, is this gonna be wait, how do I get in there? Is there should be a lever. Pull it to shut the system down. It's in there, but I can't get to it. Can I? Yes, may I yes I can. Um Yeah, this is like the first kind of game where there's gonna be you know dialogue one. consistently. Um you know, whereas like in the Simpsons game, there wasn't really dialogue consistently. Um, definitely not in Crash Bandicoot or Crash Team Racing or the Pokemon games where there's no um, there's no dialogue. Well, spoken like, dialogue. Like, Whoa! What the hell just happened there? Okay. Um, I'm checking my perimeter. And there's there's no more out there. Get, I don't want to leave out of here. Okay, whatever you, you, if I die, it's your fault. Um, what the? Oh, crap. Um, is it, do I have to live through here? Nope, oh my god, there's movement, but I got, there's no one, oh, oh god. Uh, I'm just waiting for the first jump scare, I can't remember where it is. Oh crap, is there one? Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, do I, do I shoot? Oh no, just close it. <sighs> I kind of saw it at the corner of my eye, so it wasn't much of a shock. I saw like the, the tail and everything, and oh my god, is it trying to get in? Um, uh, no, 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 no. Oh, she's taking care of it for me. I'm like a, a noob, I have to get her to do everything for me. Um, okay, so do I want to go to this door now? I don't think so, because that's electrocuting me. So, what? Is the same door? Th th this door like smashed in, though. Where am I? Okay, maybe it is this door. Okay, oh, she opened it for me. Travel, I think. Adventure, and a free sauna. Um, objective marker, where are you? Where are you? Come on. Get it. Where is it? Oh, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. It's on the roof. Um, die, please, die, please. Oh, no, no. I'm, oh, get it. He, he dead. Okay, it's dead. Whew. Lucky, lucky, lucky. <laughs> I, I was not doing a great job of killing it. Now she's locked in. I'm gonna have to go save her, goofy ass. Well, okay, it's not down there, it's over here. Oh, thank. Thank, thank God for some, uh... Oh, Jesus. Xenomorphs coming across here. A lot of Xenomorphs, apparently. Oh, there's like a cluster... Are they, like, outside this window? Come fight me, you freaks. I'll, I'll take you on. I've, I've killed one. One and, one and oh, never been defeated. Oh. What's this? Uh, audio diary? These, these audio diaries kind of serve kind of like, um... If you've ever played any of the Bioshock games, the um, the kind of audio logs in that. Except you have to go into a menu to listen to them. You can't listen to them while you're just roaming around here. So it makes it kind of tedious to actually listen to them. 
Um, otherwise, they would have been pretty cool because they do give some good information about what's going on, backstory about the, uh, the game. So outside again, and it's like, is it? Oh no, it's just enclosed. I thought it was like really dark night out outside again. Um, where am I going now? Oh, down here. Yeah, lovely. Into the darkness once again. Um, do I hear Xenomorphs? Yes, I do. Oh crap, I think I... Ah, uh, yes, I remember this part. Wait, I can't open it yet, can I? Oh, crap, there's it. Yeah, come on, come on. Yeah, this this one, this one's just a... You know, a hip, the hipster Xenomorph. Everyone, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, I'm just dead. I'm dead, aren't I? Oh no, I, I somehow... I Did I... Def no way, I defeated that. I thought I was going to get my face smashed open. Huh. <laughs> as I was saying, that's the, that's the hipster one, because every other Xenomorph is in here killing all the squad members. Um, can I open it? Oh, it's opened for me. Yeah. Franco. Never forget. Damn it. See? All the Xenomorphs are out now. here being, being you know, murderous. That guy just decided he would come in there and try to scare me. But I'm too brave for him. Um, so down up here, I guess. This mini map's not the greatest because it just suddenly turns, and you're like, "What? I'm supposed to go left now? Oh, I've already gone right." I'm picking up movement ahead. Um, it, ain't it ain't friendly. How do you know it's not friendly? You who you made you the friendly police? Okay, so it should be coming in front of me. Uh, where are you, Xenomorph? You are... You are scaring me? Or maybe they're just... They do that a lot in this game, they just... They have the tracker go off, um... But the Xenomorphs never come towards you, or... You know, whatever. Is the emergency generator by the door? Is this the emergency generator by the door? Yes, it is. Ah, uh, I gotta get the power nodes. Um, where is the power nodes? This is the power node. Yep. Okay. So let's simply carry it across. And they have they have the uh that motion tracker, they have it go off while you're um while you're doing this because, you know, make your shit yourself. Good job, rookie. And here she is. How's the head? Tequila. Nice name. Grab yourself a pulse rifle, kid. Um, so I guess I'm gonna grab a pulse rifle and then um, watch what she does here, and I guess that'll be what it for the, the part. Was Wayland Yutani up to down here? It's Zeno Central. I don't know, probably, rock, you know, bugs don't just pop harvesting the these Xenomorphs or something. I don't even want to think about the hostiles that popped in out of nowhere and took out the Marlow. Anyway, listen, I think I can control some of the colony's systems really? from here. Really? You can just control it. You've never had any experience with this, but you can control it. Repeat. This is Connor. Con Connor. Sarah Connor. It's Sarah Connor. Crossover with Terminator. Aliens vs Predator vs Terminator. Yep, they're gonna they're gonna die. Back, you're gonna have backup from these two people. I can give you one man. One man. So you're not even gonna come? Oh, the club. I remember the club. Okay, so you're just gonna leave me. Um, and I guess we're gonna end the part here. So, thanks for watching, guys. Um, this is the first part of Aliens vs. Predator of hopefully many great parts. We didn't die from, you know, the two Xenomorphs that we saw, so that's a positive. Um, hopefully signs of things to come. Um, but, yeah, thanks for watching, and I hope you have enjoyed this, f this first part, and hope you come back for um, the rest of the series. So, until next time, trust me, I got this. Signing out.